Welcome to yet another video. In the previous video, we understood the proof of Pythagoras theorem with the help of similar triangles. Today, we will see an example based on this. Angle N is a right angle in the right angle triangle MNP in which MR and PS are medians drawn from the vertices M and P respectively. If MP is equal to 5 cm and MR is equal to 3 root of 5 by 2 cm, then find the length of PS. Pause the video to solve the question and match your answer later. Can you tell me how you can solve the question? Absolutely correct. First of all, we will draw a figure based on the information given in the question. So let's draw. From the question, we know that the triangle is a right angle triangle, so we draw a right angle triangle, in which angle N is the right angle. Now from the points M and P, draw the medians MR and PS on their opposite sides NP and MN respectively, which divide the sides NP and MN respectively into two equal parts. Also, we know the measurements of the sides MP and MR because triangle MNP is right angled at N. So, from the Pythagoras theorem, we can say that square of MP will be equal to the square of MN plus square of NP, denoted by equation 1. Similarly, in right angle triangle MNR, square of MR will be equal to the square of MN plus square of NR. We know that NR and RP are two equal parts of NP. Hence, NR equals NP by 2. On further solving, we get equation 2. Similarly, we get equation 3 from right angle triangle NPS. By adding equations 2 and 3, we get this equation. Here, from equation 1, mn square plus np square can be replaced by the square of mp. Can you tell us what we should do next? Well done! Now, we will replace the values of mr and mp in this equation. We get PS square equal to 20. Taking square root of both sides, PS equals positive and negative 2 square root of 5. PS is the median of the triangle MNP whose length we have to find. Can the length be negative? Absolutely correct. Length cannot be negative. So, we will consider positive. So the length of PS will be 2 square root of 5 centimeters. Hope that now you've understood the Pythagoras theorem well.